Hello all, welcome back. This is part 4 of getting started with SketchUp section. In previous part, I told you about how to use SketchUp tools with the help of instructor and a status bar. And also I showed you the list of all SketchUp tools with their keyboard shortcuts. In this part, we take our first step in creating 3D model in SketchUp with very basic example. So let's get started. As a beginner, if you follow the steps which I am going to show you in next few minutes, that will help you a lot in getting a quick overview of the basics of modeling. Step 1. In the Getting Started toolbar, go to Shape, Rollout and select Rectangle Tool. You can also use keyboard shortcut R to activate Rectangle command. On the ground plane in the space between the red and green axis, click the Rectangle Tool cursor by your left mouse click. Then drag your cursor to the right and click again. While dragging, just have a look into the measurement box which is showing dimensions of the rectangle we are making. Length, comma, width. Now finish your rectangle by clicking again. A rectangle will be created with the surface generated automatically on the ground, as shown here. If you want to create a rectangle of a specific dimensions, then again follow the same process, but this time while dragging your mouse, just type the dimensions of the rectangle you want. For example, 6 feet length by 5 feet width and press enter to finish. Step 2. Now on the getting started toolbar, select the push pull tool or you can use the keyboard shortcut as P and place the push pull cursor over the rectangle you just created as shown. Click and drag your rectangle up into a 3D space. Keep an eye on the measurement box and click again when you are about to reach your desired height. Or you can just simply specify the height you want by tapping it in the measurement box. You can see how the height of your shape changed to exactly 4 feet tall and the value you entered appears in the measurements box. Step 3. In the getting started toolbar, select the orbit tool. You can also use shortcut O for that. Place the orbit cursor above your shape, then left click and hold while you move the mouse in any direction. You can also click and hold the scroll click in your mouse if that function is available. You can see how the view of your shape changes. This tool helps in getting an overview of our model from all directions. You should keep practice clicking and dragging with the orbit tool as much as you like. It's a pretty fun tool and also helps a lot during modeling. Step 4. Again in the getting started toolbar, click the zoom extends button. The keyboard shortcut assigned to this tool by default is shift plus z or control plus shift plus z. If you are orbiting around in your model and went too deep where you lose track of where you are in your model, the zoom extend button is a handy way to bring you back and show you the whole model again. If you have a scroll wheel mouse, scroll up and down to zoom in and out respectively. However, if your mouse lacks a scroll wheel, click the zoom tool or just use the keyboard shortcut Z for that. Now click and hold the left mouse button and drag forward and backward to zoom in and out respectively. Step 5. In the getting started toolbar, click the paint bucket tool. The shortcut to that is B. Now go to the default tray and deactivate the auto hide option from the tray to fix it to the interface. You will see a material panel in the tray. Expand it. If you are not able to find it in the tray, then go to the windows and from the default tray option select materials. In the material section, you will find a big list of materials with their textures like stone, roofing and so on. Let's start with picking colors first. Choose any random color to be applied on the model. Bring your bucket cursor over the surface you want the material to be applied and left click from your mouse to apply. Our surface is colored now. To apply the same material on other surfaces, you can repeat the same process by taking your bucket cursor over the surface and clicking every time. There is a faster way to do it as well. If you want the same material to be applied to all the model, just hold the shift key. You will see three dots will appear with the bucket cursor. And when you apply same material on other blank surface, it will be applied to whole model present in the drawing area. Until and unless some of the elements are not grouped. Another method is, if you want to apply material to specific entity only. In this case, let's say one box only. For that, control Z to go back and now hold the control key this time. You will see again three red dots will appear with the bucket cursor, but in linear arrangement this time. Now apply material to the blank surface of the rectangular box and you will see only one rectangle is colored. 
But remember, this trick will work only after you have applied material to any one surface of the model. In the similar way, you can choose some textures from the list as well and apply it to the surfaces. For example, brick texture. Step 6. Now collapse the material panel and expand styles panel. If you are not able to find style panel in the tray, again go to the windows, default tray and styles. When you are in the style panel, from the drop down menu, select any option like sketchy edges and then select a random style option, let's say marker white. You will see that the style completely overrides all the materials and colors applied. Similarly, you can test and trial other styles available in SketchUp. To get back to the previous style with all materials intact, select In Model from the drop down menu and then select Architectural Design Style and you are back to the original model. So those were the basic 6 steps which are followed in most of the modeling. Let me rewind it for you. Step 1. Laying the base plan for the 3D model. Step 2. Giving the base plan a 3D shape. Step 3. Rotating orbiting model to check it overall. Step 4. Using zoom in, zoom out and zoom extend command to work the details of your 3D model. Step 5. Applying materials or textures to the 3D model. Step 6. Choosing specific style for your presentation. So guys, this was a basic introduction to modeling in SketchUp. Keep practicing. In later videos, I will cover the detailed working of creating a 3D model in SketchUp. And in the next part, I will tell you how to save and reopen your 3D model in SketchUp and also how to recover or restore an autosave file of SketchUp. <laughs>